subscribe to m code and ring the notification bell to get the latest content so we need to cover up some basics to able to understand how spark works under the hood so to at its core of this architecture apache spark will follow a master slave architecture so if you are not aware with master slave architecture in the master slave architecture we have the master and the slaves so master will coordinate all the process and data processing on the platform and the slaves nothing but the worker nodes as we have seen in the hadoop ecosystem worker node will do all the ground work which means that storing the data processing that data and also communicate with the master for the latest updates as well as the utilization and everything in and in case of spark we have a central coordinator which is master and the distributed workers which are nothing but the slaves so distributed means here also all the worker nodes which are slaves are running in parallel to process the data which means it splits our task into smaller chunks and then processes it and also it takes the benefit of in memory processing to able to efficiently process our data to give us the expected output so now let's jump on to the whiteboard and see how it works okay so now let's talk about the driver so as we can see we have the central driver here so we can call this as the driver so driver is responsible to coordinate all the processes and it communicates with the resource manager so resource manager is also an integral part of the spark architecture so on driver we will be having some driver program which initiates all this process so driver we can call it as a master of our spark architecture so let's say it communicates with the this we can call it as the resource manager so what is resource manager that is like another topic so here we have the resource manager so basically driver will track all the progress of the task as well as the utilization on the worker nodes and distributes the task by communicating with the resource manager and also we have like the executors so basically executors are nothing but carries out all the processes which are submitted by the driver and allocated by the resource manager and runs them on the worker nodes so basically executors are nothing but installed on every worker node in the cluster so let's say we have like this big worker node so this is our worker nodes so let's say if we have like two main worker nodes in our cluster so these are nothing but the slaves so we can call it as worker node so basically we have the executor here so each worker node will have the executors which executes and carried out all the processes on the worker nodes so basically these both will have the executors and there is a constant communication between the worker nodes as well as the resource manager and also the driver node so this will go to worker node as well so like this is how the architecture is built for apache spark so and also we have the different tasks which are submitted by the executor so this small chunk on the executor program we can say it as a task so task is nothing but a smallest unit of work which are submitted by the driver and resource manager on the worker nodes so this is like a actual ground work which is doing under the hood so so this is how spark application gets submitted on the cluster and also every executor will have the cache so basically we have the cache so cache will help us to store that data which is needed in the upcoming stages in memory so that the execution will be way more faster and will get real time insights out of our data so here if we specifically talks about the resource manager so resource manager really tracks the health of every executor and also responsible to manage the utilization on this worker nodes and what are the different tasks that are submitted and it communicates that with the driver and it takes the heartbeat heartbeat from the executors as well to check the health of each executors so spark supports different resource managers 
so it also supports like the external resource managers like yarn that we have seen in the hadoop ecosystem so yarn is nothing but a yet another resource manager which is the integral part of hadoop ecosystem so that is also utilized by spark as a resource manager but it also utilizes like mesos as its resource manager so you may ask why really we need to talk about the architecture because architecture is really important thing to understand to let you know how your spark application works so that's why if you know the architecture and if you know how the application gets submitted across the cluster and our data is getting processed parallelly so you will able to build the most efficient system so if you have this insights it will help you to draw the meaning out of your data in very efficient manner so you have to understand the architecture so that's it for today i'll see you in the next lecture